My name is Dr. Maria Giroux and I'm an obstetrics and gynecology resident at the University of Saskatchewan. The OBGYN Academy has created a series of videos and other resources about COVID-19 that we would like to share with you. In this video, we're going to talk about treatment of COVID-19. COVID-19 is managed based on symptoms. The people who have a mild illness, which is about 80%, don't need to be admitted to the hospital unless they develop any complications or develop any severe symptoms like chest pain, difficulty breathing, confusion. The 20% of people who develop, develop severe disease would need to be admitted to the hospital and some of these people actually need to be admitted to intensive care unit to help with their breathing so they need mechanical ventilation or um, a machine that helps them breathe. For people who are at home, symptomatic management is key. So it's important to make sure that you drink plenty of fluids, uh, control pain by taking Tylenol, make sure that you self-isolate to protect others from getting sick. And typically, with mild illness, over time, the symptoms will resolve. And if they get progressively worse and the person feels really unwell, it's important to seek medical care. There have been no antivirals right now on this day approved for the use for COVID-19 or have found to be effective. So really the treatment at this point in time is symptom control. Um, and if a patient develops bacterial pneumonia, then the treatment would include also addition of antibiotics to treat the pneumonia that's caused by bacteria. There's a criteria of how long should you self-isolate when you're positive and stay at home for, and this criteria really depends on where you live. So it's important to know what is the criteria for your province or your city. And I'm going to post the uh, link to Saskatchewan uh, criteria, which is where I live. 